thing I had promised um, a while ago, I think it was, to do a video on um, the different colors, the uh, candles. So, and I never got around to doing it, to be honest. So today's the day. I'm going to do it. I'm going to save the video. So if, yeah, the network, no? So if you're joining me now, or maybe you'll join later, I'm going to save the video in any case. So don't worry about it. For like some more people to join in this one silent. Let's see, let's see. Okay. So today I'm gonna to be doing a video on um candles, what they and what they mean, the different colours, what they mean. So, because I'm going to be saving the video, I'm not going to wait for other people to join. I'm just going to get a saver and then we'll, you'll, you can watch it later if you need to refer back to it. So, I've made notes because there's so much. I didn't want to forget anything. So, I wrote some of the things down. So, if I keep looking down, please do excuse me. I'm just referring back to my notes regarding the different um, colors, um, the different candle colors. So I'll be speaking in English because there's some people who um, who don't speak Zulu or Sutu or whatever. So just to accommodate everyone, if I say something in Sutu or Zulu, then I'll translate it so that we're all on the same page. So let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to start. I'm going to start with the color white. This one over here. So the color white, what I wrote here and what i always tell people actually the color white is for it's to invite ancestors it's to invite angels or whatever you'd like to refer to your people as or your underground gang as it's to invite them and let them know what they to let them know that sorry um you're gonna start a prayer and you want them to be around just to hear what it is that you're going to be praying about and all of that so this one is super important it's to um it's to call your angels or your ancestors to say hey i'm here and i'm about to start a prayer or i'm about to start conversating with um my ancestors so please do come through and listen to what i'm saying um i think it also represents white also represents peace and cleanliness obviously ancestors and angels don't want to get to a place um that's like there's bad energy, there's a lot of drama, and it's not clean. So when you use your candle in white, it clears the energy. And once the energy is clear, then obviously your ancestors will feel comfortable enough to come and join you in an energy that's nice and clean and free of any negative energy. What else did I write? It's also good for... I always tell people that if you use a white one with any of the other candles that I'm about to show you, it also works as... Um, an amplifier so how do I explain this so if you're using yellow and you use yellow and white yellow is like super white because is you yeah, yellow is super yellow because you've amplified it with the white again so it's also an amplifier so if you're using any other color you can also use this one as well to amplify it I also wrote here obviously I mentioned it's it's um it cleanses your aura so it cleans the space around you um which obviously you need to have a cleanly space for your ancestors to come and join the party uh yeah cleanliness amplifier home protection and for manifesting okay so that's the first one that's white if you guys have any questions please feel free i'll answer as i go if not then if you don't want to type it, then you can ask me later. But it would be nice for you to ask now so that in case somebody has the same question as you, then I'll also be able to help them. The next one is the pink one. Pink is my favorite color, but I don't use it all the time because it's it's also got its own meaning. So pink is for romance. So ladies, if um, sometimes if you're having like relationship issues, or you just wanna you want that spark to come back in your relationship or your marriage 
Then pink is also a good color to use when you're praying or when you're manifesting or when you are um kind of what's the word meditating as well pink is your go-to color for that kind of thing so all things love relationships bringing the spark all those nice things about relationships this is your color and then it's also one for um fertility which is i mean for most women it's like a very important issue or sometimes a touchy issue so if you've had miscarriages or you've had to terminate for whatever reason um or you're struggling um you have like have infertility issues then pink is your color you can pray and manifest on a child you can pray on um what else can you pray about you can pray about um trying to get a child conceiving or if you are pregnant you can pray on your pregnancy which is very important guys if you're pregnant and you're watching this i don't think you can go a day without praying for your unborn child it is super important so this candle would be a great one to use for that it's also it falls back to the relationship um one as well for emotional healing so if you're just if you feel like sometimes you're just going through the most and there are times when you go through things and you can't even identify exactly what emotion it is that you're feeling then um the color pink would definitely be something that you would want to use um and i always i think i always tell people that there's times when you just go through the most and people and people will say to you no pray about it it's gonna be okay and all of that and at that time you don't even have the words like you will say okay i'm gonna pray and then when it's time for you to pray you don't even know what to say um you can light your candle whatever candle you feel you want to use if you're going through um anything like emotional wise that's just draining you can light this one and you don't even have to say anything i feel like god knows and your ancestors handle and just be in the moment so pink is also good for that i mentioned as well for love mojolo yo ladies you guys ask me about mojolo all the time so here if you want relationships nice things to happen in relationships she is your girl um also for marriage and it's the network please excuse me and also it's for joy and it's for your family and it's also just for inner peace hey joy we have a joy on the live so joy this is your candle so that's the pink one guys don't worry if you missed some of the colors i'm gonna save the live so you can always catch up on what you've missed later on then we have yellow sorry if i'm being silly i'm in a good mood today so yeah um, so yeah we have yellow yellow is in sesotho it's ho ho khansa i think in zwana it's the same in zulu eyo khanisa in english it's to to brighten things up no i'm gonna say it in english don't worry in english <laughs> in english it's to brighten um your things up what about for new employment i've got the perfect color for that one i'm i'm gonna get to it Naila. i'll mention that one so and yellow as well you can also use this one for that come to think of it so yellow here yeah, i wrote in tell it's for can we say intelligence so what i meant by intelligence is that sometimes you as a person we see things in a completely different perspective to how god would see it and how your ancestors would see um things we have a completely different perspective so when i say yellow is also it's for intelligence it's for that intelligence that's beyond your human thinking so for example when you are praying you would pray that for instance you say to to god god i'm leaving this situation in your hands i've done what i can do um regarding maybe you say i've done all i can do for this friend of mine please just give me you know the intelligence to 
to decide what to do am i going to continue with this friendship or am i going to just end the friendship so that's what i mean when i say intelligence it gives you it's just to give you a different perspective to how you're already seeing things and sometimes actually you need a different perspective to certain things in your life for you to get yourself out of certain situations or to start something new i guess so that's a it's an important color for that it also is a good one for breakthrough and i don't know most likely you've heard the the term light at the end of the tunnel this is the color for it this is the light at the end of the tunnel it's for when you feel like geez things are just not they're not coming together no matter how much you try how you push how much you 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 go all out you have sleepless nights and you just feel like there's no breakthrough this is the candle for breakthrough this is the candle that you will use to say you know what yes this journey is long i'm getting tired along the way but with this candle it will help you it will keep you going so it's like a a battery of some sort so that's what i wrote um and it's also a great one to use like yo it's scary so it's also one of those candles you can light for somebody that's departed just for instance maybe if you if your friend or whoever passes away god forbid um you can light the candle and then pray for them and be like you know what they their journey is now like a completely different one to what it is you know what this internet just refuses for me to be great but anyway, we'll continue. If there's any glitching and whatnot, I'll wait for it and then I'll continue. So it's that candle for breakthrough, for shining a light on people that have passed away, just so that you pray for them to say, you know what, they've made it to the other side and I pray that they go well and things things in the afterlife go well for them. Because I honestly believe there is an afterlife. Um, and then... It is also important for people who have a um a gift or a calling a gift and a calling two different things but that's story for another day um if you have a gift or a calling and your particular one you for instance dream of things like church um uniform or going to church or things like that you have istunia which means an ancestor that um works through the bible through prayer and things like that so this is a super super important candle for people with that kind of gift you almost will always use a yellow one for um if you have istunia which is that kind of gift that i mentioned you use yes i forgot to mention the white one the white one is also for istunia because it um invites your guardian angels and all of that so the white and the yellow already if you know you have that kind of calling where you dream of church singing and dancing at church um or when you listen to gospel you get super emotional um or when you go to church you just you feel the vibrations chances are that's what's happening with you and then the yellow candle is also for you what else did i write about yellow yeah it's also good for um what you call this students students if you're a writer um if you work in a creative space as well like i used to back then sometimes you have mental like you just have a mental block it's good for that because like i said it's the light at the end of the tunnel so it'll definitely brighten up your mind and it goes back to that intelligence that i mentioned and it will you'll start thinking of things in a different perspective so yo yellow was a mouthful but that's what yellow means so i'm gonna put it away and then i'm gonna do the third color which is blue blue um so, <laughs> so blue is also another color that is popular amongst people who have istunia which is the one i mentioned um where you your angel or your spiritual guide is more 
on the church side of things, um, on the Bible, on praying and all that kind of thing, then they love to use this blue one. And already without even double checking my notes, because I know this one so well, um, blue is for communication. So it, I believe it opens up um, the, it's like, um, how do I explain this? It's like when you're calling your friend on WhatsApp call and it says calling and then it says ringing. The minute it starts ringing, if you look at your blue candle, it um, will start flicking. The minute the, your friend will answer the call, then it starts doing the timer thing. You, if you check your blue candle, it will be flicking or moving around or doing some, showing you some kind of sign that your angels, yes, have arrived. And then secondly, they're listening to what it is that you're saying. Your angels or your ancestors, whichever you prefer, um, whatever word or name you prefer to call them by is that. So blue is one for communication. So if you have an E, Stunya, yellow, white, and blue is definitely your colors. So it's also a good one for those that are in business. But um, when I say business, there's a different color for business, which is linked to money. This one is that kind of thing where you use it for business, sort of like to be known, exposure, you can pray on those kinds of things. Like, you know what? Um, I'm starting a business and I want people to know about it, exposure, what else can I say about business to explain it? It's everything about business besides the money part of it. I think that's the easiest way to, to say it and not to complicate whatever it is that I'm trying to explain. That's what blue will mean. So for business, when you're starting out, you... I don't know, there's a blockage of some sort, you can also use blue for that. And I also said for communication, East Tunia. Um, and it's also a candle for Arotia forgiveness. Like, and I speak on forgiveness in the sense, your beauty, sometimes people do you wrong people do wrong all the time but um you forgiving them is i think it's for you more than it is for them you don't even have to tell somebody you forgive them i think it just it starts here and it ends here so with this candle it's sort of like you lighting it and saying you know what so and so ukoko did me wrong for whatever reason and i'm choosing to let it go um it's no longer going to you know have this hold on my life um she did this and this and this to me and while i'm lighting this candle i'm letting it go and you know which you're done with it um whatever happens happens i know maybe off topic do you know that you need do i know that i oh how do you know i thought you were saying i need cleansing i was like heaven now how do you know um, that you need cleansing? Okay, I'll tell you, I'll respond to you um, later, how you know. But let me finish, I'm almost done. So then, um, yeah, why was I? So that's the one thing about blue being a color, yeah, forgiveness. And then I also um, spoke, I also, I also wrote here, sorry, that um, it helps with healing mentally um they especially i've noticed that people who realize that they have gifts sometimes before they figure out what to do with their gifts they go through like this dry spell and periods where um it's almost like they're falling into depression so blue is like the candle you could use when you feel that you know what i just don't know what to do with myself anymore I'm being told I have a gift, I have this, I have that, I don't know what to do with it and I'm starting to feel helpless, then blue will definitely be the color for you um, to light and to pray about whatever it is that you're going through at the time. Also, if, you, if you're somebody who um, sometimes has suicidal thoughts or whatever, then the blue candle is also um, for you. It will definitely help you when you pray or when you... Um, speak to your ancestors. So that's the blue.
And then one of my favorites, the um, the red. This one. Hmm. Guys, if you go somewhere and you see a packet of the red, do yourself a favor, get the red. Get yourself the red because we as human beings are fighting spiritual wars that we know nothing about. You're minding your business. Hey, you're minding your business and people are just chasing you. So red is a perfect color for that. Yeah, so let me get into red. Red is for... Uh, I'm going to say it in, in Sesotho and then I'll try to translate it in English. Red is for Molego. I repeat, Molego. In English, um, I was about to say when somebody is testing me. In English, it is Yo Awa. There goes my English. <laughs> in English, it's Guys, please help me. What is it in English? I dream of lions and rivers and an old woman, I don't know, teaching me in the river. You've got a calling, babes. Please save this life. I will, I will. What is, what is Molego, guys, in English? I'm trying to translate for people who, <laughs> who don't understand what Molego means. Let me see what I wrote. Molego is, okay, now... Thank you. Bad spells or bad spirits or evil that's being done to you. Thank you, girl. You saved me. Yeah, yes, and I was a bit confused. Get nonsense. Exactly. It's the nonsense people do behind your back in your name that you don't even know about. That is Moleko, yes. Thanks, Lemon. So it's for that. So every time you're going through the most, you feel like something's up. You just don't know what it is, but you're just like, mm -mm. something's off. There's some bad vibes. Thank you. There's some bad vibes in my life, and you don't know what it is. Light this red candle. And with the red candle, I like it because it also communicates with you. So if you light it and you're praying about something that you're facing, maybe there's somebody at work who's just not giving you a break, or whatever the, ca the case may be, it flickers like guys when you pray with candles please check what your candles are doing they communicate with you as well so they'll move around they'll flicker they'll dance and you it's probably not even windy where you have your candles but you'll see them dancing or moving around then you sort of know that you're getting a response of some kind so when you're going through the most you feel like I just got some bad juju like chasing me bad vibes bad energy something is happening you're struggling to sleep or you get um what's this Skydelli. you get um sleep paralysis thank you english um yeah you get those kinds of things where you're sleeping and you feel like you can't move your body but like you can move your body inside but like your actual body is not moving that's what i mean this is a good candle to light but obviously if you have it while you're sleeping you want to light the candle before you go to bed and pray about it right <laughs> so you want to light the candle before you go to bed because if you're sleeping and you're already struggling with that there's no way you can get up and light a candle but um, if you can't, if you're struggling to sleep maybe at 3 a.m. or you wake up from that paralysis in the early hours of the morning, you can actually toggle us. You can actually um, please save the video. Okay, I'll save the video. Um, you can use this candle as well. And then yeah, I also wrote gearing up for a fight. So it goes back to those evil spirits, those bad vibes, people that are trying to do stuff to you. Which I don't know why people do that. I, you know, if I knew why people did that, I think I'd sleep better at night. But anyway, um, this is the one for you. If you're gearing up for a fight, you know, say for instance, you come for a consultation and I tell you, this and this is happening in your life. And you like, I'm ready to take them on. You take them on with this. With prayer. You speak to your ancestors and this kind of candle, this red candle. So I wrote gearing up for a fight, for action, 
it's also a fast acting um color especially when there's bad vibes around you once you start praying with this you'll definitely start seeing some changes in your life um and also you might see people around you behaving differently and also that's a sign guys if you see that you started praying or you started asking for certain things in your life and then you go to work or wherever you meet up with your friend and your friend is acting funny i think uh, it is what it is you you're seeing the results of your your prayers like, mm -mm, this one isn't the one for me so that's what i wrote and also it's good to um, protect your home so it goes back to um sleep paralysis <laughs> um yeah so it goes back to that that you can light it before you go to bed and say a prayer and then pray about for instance if you're somebody who you, you just can't sleep you wake up at odd times of the night you hear funny things you feel like there's a like there's a shadow or there's someone in the house but you know for a fact there's nobody in the house then always at night pray with this red candle and then amplified with a white candle because you want to invite your ancestors and then you want to ask them to protect you using this one um so use the white and the red if you have that kind of situation that you are dealing with okay i'm done with the red i'm gonna do the orange so the orange if you're a student if you are an entrepreneur if you are somebody who like an artist or you do anything that's creative this is definitely the color for you it is a color that promotes creativity that helps you with that it clears the mind it promotes creative thinking as well so you see how it would be good for like a student um, and also for people within business that need i mean if you're in business you always need fresh ideas you always need ways to make sales so it will definitely help you with those kinds of things so the creative side i can't remember if your creative side your the which side of your brain was the creative one but again that one so that's where it it falls it's also good for um new opportunities so somebody had asked me earlier what can they use for um if you're looking for a job as well so if you're looking for a job you can use orange you will preferably you'd add white to it and then you can also use yellow so yellow for breakthrough um orange for new opportunities and then white to invite your ancestors to hear what you're saying to also bring god um into it so that he can also know this girl or this guy is serious so the person who asked me about looking for a job i hope this answers your question orange yellow and white you can use yellow and white or orange and white or all three that would that would be great and then i think i mentioned um for creativity so if you also have a mental block like the blue you'd use the blue the orange and the white white is a very important um color it helps all the other ones so always make sure you have white ones as well so that's what the orange is for and then yeah this one i know a lot of people they want to know this one they want to know can you guess what color it is no i'm not gonna make you guys wait um okay the next one is green so green is for that money like if you want money you want to grow your business you want to see those sales you want to see where your money is going in the house you want your money to work for you and not the other way around yeah this is your this is your color this is your girl so green is for money for one which is green i think money is if you say money can't buy you happiness i i don't know but for me i feel like money would do a lot of things for me so this green is definitely for um for money for drawing in money if you have business if you are praying for a promotion at work um obviously a promotion you would mean you get more money then this would be it 
if you like have an interview or you've had an interview and you're sort of at the negotiating of salary level then green is also a great color for that green is also good for um for healing so um there's times where when i say healing where you just feel so what's the word i think you just feel so raw you feel so hurt and you just are like you know what lord i'm leaving it in your hands i just don't know what to do with myself anymore i cannot carry all this weight on my shoulders it's definitely for that kind of healing and it's also for the kind of heal the physical kind of healing as well so maybe if you your son was playing football and he broke a leg you can also pray about him healing um quicker or faster and healing properly that kind of thing so it goes for healing both ways emotion well spiritually and physically as well it's a color for prosperity for abundance it's the color you know what i'm saying so if you see a like if you go anywhere and you find a pack of these green ones do yourself a favor get them because they're very scarce as well like you don't just find them either it's not an easy color to find and i think we know why but if you see this if you see a green candle then go and do yourself a favor and get that um it's also good for because i mentioned it's also good for growth it is also good for um fertility as well if you want a baby to grow inside you do you see growth um so it will go well with this one as well so if you're trying for a baby or you're dealing with infertility and you just want to pray about it and just like offload the green the orange the white and then the yellow for breakthrough as well so i think with different situations um going to the kind of meanings that i've given you you can sort of figure out which ones to use at during what time and you can also use them together which is great as well so it's also for fertility for growth um you can grow at work you can grow um when i say you can grow at work you can grow within a position you can grow within the company it's one of those colors that you like again i'm gonna say you just need to have so that you can see prosperity in your life you can see changes that money can bring to your life so green is also a nice one for that and then the last color i have purple i have two kinds of purple this is a purple i don't know what happened to this candle but let me show you the other side this is also a purple so whatever you see as purple is purple um so i'll just use this one purple purple is for wisdom it's for the kind of wisdom that i mentioned with um the yellow so you can again use purple and yellow together purple is for wisdom and when i say wisdom i mean that kind of wisdom that is i um, even know to okay it's that kind of wisdom that you pray for when you say for instance when you're praying and you say to god you know what um i don't know how you guys pray but i'll just explain it where you say you know what god i'm hanging around a certain like group of people i don't know what the intentions are for me that kind of thing but please Give me the wisdom to see who's who in the zoo, who's really my friend, who's not my friend, who wants good for me, and so on and so on. So it's a color that will promote that kind of thing um, in your life. To see what's what, to be smart, to, to be able to quickly assess the situation and know that this situation is not for me. To be able to um, know also when to when a situation is not for you that's the kind of wisdom i'm talking about when i'm speaking on when i say purple is for wisdom purple is also for i wrote uh siriti 
but now I'm trying to, I want to translate that Siriti to English. So, okay, let me explain it in Vernac and then I'll figure out a way to explain it in English. Purple is for Siriti. So if you hear or you don't have Siriti, like um, Siriti, you don't have that ish i had the word i don't want to use dignity because that's an entirely different thing you don't have that that thing you guys know what i mean you don't have thank you thank you you don't have that honor people don't take you seriously like you get to a for instance you get to a place and there's kids playing and they be naughty and you're like hey and the kids look at you like actually who the hell are you then you know mm -mm. something's off even kids don't take me seriously as a human being or when you um when you're at work and you're the boss and you're like okay go go do this and this and this for me today your assignment is this is this and then i go go say um yeah okay i'll do it with attitude it's when people just don't um cure this is a tricky one guys i thought i knew english hi sham no not today um but how can i explain it like you don't you don't command the room you come across like as a weakling do you get what i'm saying you don't people don't look at you and just immediately respect you that's what i'm talking about when i say serenity so if you want to have that thing where you command respect you command a room when you walk into it you want people um people to take you seriously this is the candle when you don't have presence exactly where it's like you're it's like you're not there when you're there that's exactly what it is thanks you know so this is definitely the candle for for that if you're praying on that that lord you know what mm -mm. um but um <clears throat> sorry yeah so this is what it's for that's the what i mean when i'm saying serenity in english and then um it's also one for knowledge so if you're a student um and or you're learning something new maybe if you started a new job and you know sometimes you get those um those courses that those things that you have to learn for work it's also good for that kind of thing maybe when you're studying you can light a candle also when you're studying you can also use um a yellow and a white one as well sorry that just came to my mind now I'm a bit of a scatter brain sometimes so sometimes i'll go back and forth please excuse me so that's what it is um it's also for my favorite one of the favorite things that i like about um the purple it's for revelations it is for showing you do you get what i'm saying it goes back to that wisdom one it is for showing you what's what and um guys if you pray with the purple one i'll give you a little tip always say in your prayer lord please um show me who's who and also um whoever's not supposed to be in my life can they just leave without a fight without any drama without any of that they just up and leave then you know that okay this person was never for me and that's a revelation in itself and then you say um, Lord, please also keep the people that are going to um, change my life and also help me with my breakthrough, all those nice things. Please keep those people closer to me. That's how sometimes you see people that you cut off, come back, or some or people that you thought were close to you change and disappear. But when you do that kind of prayer, it is very important to, um, to understand that you're going to get results and to be ready to deal with whatever answers you get so this best friend of yours that's here that you think oh this is my girl may be the same one to leave you tomorrow and i think you need to be okay with that you need to be like lord you know best you know why you are moving so and so um out of my my life so you need to i guess be ready for whatever answers you get because sometimes we when we pray for stuff 
we are not ready for the kind of um, the answers we get from those prayers um, it also opens your third eye and if let me try to break it down so when I say it opens your third eye it grows you um, it grows you spiritually so if for instance you come from a family where you haven't been doing things that like are associated with ancestors and now you feel like listen I'm old enough I'm curious about this and you want to start your journey she is your girl so you want to light that candle and pray for spiritual awakening or spiritual awareness um purple would definitely be your color and also when you meditate i don't know if if a lot of people meditate i only really started meditating when um when i was quite faithful the type in twice that's when i really started taking meditation seriously but if you're somebody who knows somewhere somehow you have a gift i think master meditation before you even go a place where it will save you a lot of time and a lot of questioning if really am i supposed to be here or not do i really have a gift do i not have a gift it will save you with that um and then it also just strengthens you as a person remember it goes back to um siriti so once you pray for that and you have that it strengthens you as a person you just je have that thing about you where people are like hmm i like her for no reason that time we just walked in but people are like mm, this one makes sense when you start talking and i think if you work and you have meetings and you pitching stuff you need to be in a position where um people take you seriously so if you're in a working environment or you pitch a lot or you have a business i think purple is definitely um some of like one of the colors that you can use wow some of you are joining as i'm leaving so those are the colors that um that i use guys i don't use a black candle and i don't use any of these black salts or whatever because those kinds of things firstly you shouldn't even be lighting a black candle a kaya to begin with it needs to be done by a professional and you need to be fighting something very serious so it's a very dangerous candle to just light because somewhere somewhere they said yeah light it it will help with this you may sometimes open yourself up to things that you didn't even know existed or things that were minding their business and then when now with a black candle you went and you called them a kaya so be very mindful i don't even know where they saw black candles come to think of it but i don't use black candles so i can't even um explain sent a request to be in your video dima gato sent a request to be in your video okay i'm coming down not dima yeah dima gato let me see let's see <clears throat> What's going on? Yes, I accepted, but it's not joining. Who's calling me? Mm -mm. Not answering. If you can hear yeah, what this talk is. But the Margaret was trying to join the Margaret if you can request again I'll try and accept cuz like he accepted the entities I don't know it just didn't work so I think for a little bit we can I'll give everybody some time to ask questions if they need to ask questions and then I will say bye and then I'll save the video so if you have any questions now would be the time to ask me Hi, it's Nelly. So as I dream of white, uh, yellow, and blue candles almost every day. Um, what does that mean? Oh, okay. So earlier on, I mentioned we would see e white, yellow, and um, red together. Especially if you're somebody who 
has a what you call this a calling okay level i remember now if you have a calling especially calling yes to me so i have some like level pastor or level zayoni or um upupa like isambato munazarete and things like that it means that the kind of gift you have sometimes you can have more than one gift mind you but this particular one means that you have the gift where you it's church based so your spiritual guide works with um prayer going to church is go but it is as a sondwe ni um singing gospel and um people who have that kind of gift sometimes get like really emotional um they get really emotional you're super sensitive when you are around other people um somebody could tell you that they're going through something like you're trying to have to send your bad day and suddenly you will feel how they're feeling got this bad day of this that time your day was okay before they mentioned so that's what that is that one is a sign is to you so especially if you dream about it then you definitely should use the candles and pray um and say to your ancestors you know what i've seen that um you showed me these candles and that i must pray i'm going to do so please show me more things so i know what to do going forward regarding my gift okay i'll uh, answer is it important okay let me answer your question and then i will answer daniel's question and then i'll get to to my daughter's question in what order let me get closer so yeah lebo lebo had asked me um uh oh, thanks lebo lebo had asked me how you know you need a cleanse of some sort like when you I'm assuming when somebody's like hi fun and new york guys or whatever it is I I also had situations like that when somebody's like you need to go do it but you really don't know why because or when i maybe at that time you feel like my life is fine so okay this is a tricky one there's people who know they need a cleansing one because things are not going right in their lives they there's progress in their lives for a bit and then after a while it stops completely you feel like you're stuck there's no movement you try this you try that you try this and you just feel like you know what the walls are closing in against me or understand um that's just one of the signs sometimes it's this thing yeah where you people around you are almost like irritated by the sight of you or anything you say or do it doesn't make sense to them and it goes back to any i think yes that just don't have that thing about you then you know you you, you don't have like I can't say I don't even know if I'm making sense. Then you know no something is wrong. And then sometimes there's people who just know like their heart just tells them or you know what my things aren't going right. I have a lot of dark energy that I'm dragging along um with me that I just need to release. Sometimes you feel it your you feel it physically. You wake up with heavy shoulders, you wake up tired, you're sluggish, you um you're not motivated by anything like you just feel like yeah you wake up in the morning and you're like yeah i'm awake what must happen now so you get signs like that some people um have like funny dreams like you dream of feces and you you dream of like blood like there's a lot of blood in your dreams there's dirty water then your ancestors are, are then showing you that ah uh, this is an okay you need to go for um a cleansing and then there's people who these ones i think it's more tricky for these kinds of people where their life seems to make sense for them to get what i'm saying like the somebody will say no nah, i'm working uh the last time i got a promotion was like a year ago and it made sense for me to get a promotion a year ago um I just had my baby, I just started a relationship and things like that. So my life is is going pretty well. Those are the tricky ones. Those are the ones who actually a lot of the time they don't even need, they don't even realize that they have a problem because you get so 
you get so used to your life moving at a I think those kinds of people have accepted that their life moves the level like maybe speed 3 for understand and obviously as a person you don't want to be moving that slowly yes i mean in life things take time but you're moving slowly and you're okay with it those are the people that are dangerous that what they could have achieved in a year they are the same ones achieving it in like 10 years or 5 years because they're okay moving that dot dot so for those kinds of people it's tricky you need to actually that if you're that kind of person you need to sit down and be honest with yourself and say okay i've been working here for a year and mosebe to aga my job or like what i've been doing for a year should have gotten me here have i gotten there in the time that i was supposed to be in if it's a no then i think you know or you're not moving at the right pace for instance if you are a man and you're working to save towards to lobola your your girlfriend and you said i'm going to save up um until november and you're saving up but you don't see where it's going yes there's money in your account you're saving every month but it's going slower than usual then lwena your life is moving slowly you need chances are you need a cleansing i don't know if i confused you guys even more or if i made sense please just let me know if if um you get what i'm saying let me see okay the next one was daniel is it important to cleanse candles after you buy them i hear it may be because um so many people have touched them during shopping it's so important <laughs> that is so true thank you so much daniel for pointing it out guys before you use anything Thank you thank you thank you thank you so much Daniel I actually this slipped my mind but thank thank you for being here and making us realize that that's important guys anything that you get that you want to be praying with or involving your ancestors with you need to make sure that you have sanitized them like Daniel is saying and sanitize them spiritually as well because mind you you don't know these candles were they made by somebody who was on their period which is a story for another day conscious you don't know if the person that handled these candles and put them on the shelf that she got them from um is using something that your ancestors don't mix with you never know so just to be safe thank you so much daniel like i really appreciate that one thank you for the heads up um so always anything you get you pray for and you say God these are the things that I'm going to be using in my spiritual journey in my prayer in my cleansing or whatever the case may be I'm getting that spiritually so to say I'm cleaning these things so that there's no bad energy or anything that could hinder my progress because other people have dealt with these things that is very very important to pray for also um you need to do the same if you buy swatches from me or from anybody else or you get emits wherever you get them you need to pray for those things you need to pray for those things and let your ancestors know for one that i got this candle from bukoko and she says this candle is going to do this and this and this for me i pray that exactly what she said this this candle is going to do for me it do for me do you get what i'm saying you don't just go i say ah As if you are using the candle and you go and use it you don't let your ancestors know and this is all like and she like oh okay i want to see something so you always want to make sure that you let your ancestors know that i'm going to be using this i'm going to be bathing with this i'm going to be praying with this and i got it from where and these are my intentions always state your intentions when you are doing anything regarding god or ancestors so thank you very much for that one Okay, Dima. Is it possible not to remember dreams? It is possible not to remember dreams. It is something that I think happens to a lot of us and it's something that we need to as people pray about and um also try to cleanse ourselves or do things that will help us remember our dreams because dreams are a way that your um ancestors communicate things with you. 
So if you're not remembering your dreams, then something isn't right. You need to figure out what it is that's not right. But what you can do alternatively is you can literally pray every night to see if um you get dreams. And obviously, if you pray every night, maybe go from having no remembering no dreams to remembering what dreams. You need to remember that's an improvement. You keep on going. You don't just when you get that one dream after a while you're like ah like a shout and then you don't pray again. You need to make sure you pray so that you get dreams, you get warnings, you speak to your ancestors um, when you're sleeping and your your spirit travels to where your ancestors are so you can know what's happening, you can move accordingly. So not dreaming ha- is, is not a good thing. So you need to, either you can talk to me on the side about it or try to pray about it and see if you get any results. When you pray about dreams, use the white, the yellow and the blue candle that I mentioned. Mm, let's see. I dream about water. So guys, they they there are people who dream about water and have a calling. There's people who dream about water because they need to go a manzine for a cleansing or whatever. So I think it would depend on what exactly happens in your dream. That way I'll be able to explain. So you can just text me and let me know exactly what's happening in your dream because I suppose we dream of water differently. So I'll help you with that one. But then send a voice note or a recording or, or WhatsApp or whatever to explain what's going on. Mm, thank you so very much, Google. May the Almighty keep on blessing you and give you more power to more power and protect you all the way. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Usi, Paul, I attract a lot of spiritual people and I don't know if I have a gift or not. Uh, do purple candles help? I think, I think for one, to figure out if you have a gift, you need to um, check the kind of dreams you have. Those are very important. So the common dreams that people have that will show them that they have like a uh, calling, for instance, walking on water. Um, other people dream of beads. Other people dream of amabai. Um, just those dreams that aren't regular. Other people dream of going to school all the time. If you dream of school, I can, you must know, you are ready. That is it. If you're at school, sorry, that's what it means. But check the kind of dreams you have. And then figure it out. Sometimes um, you may attract people um, that are spiritually gifted because your ancestors feel that there's a lot of things that are coming your way or a lot of things that you may need to face and you may need somebody close to you to help you or to see those kinds of things. That's how some people are attracted to healers. And then some people um, have a gift, not a calling, but they have a gift and they will become att- they will get attracted to somebody um who uh, has a gift or sometimes your ancestors are people that believe strongly in um, ancestors and then um, they they believe in having Naga or somebody who's gifted within their family. That's why you always draw those kinds of people. I suppose just to make sure that you're safe. I don't know Sipo, if that's enough or you want more key my brother is looking for the key brother of my um the key is in my room this guy sends me a message on instagram live yeah um gogo every time i pray uh every time i pray when i have close my eyes i see the candles speaking that means your ancestors are showing you that hey we're here we're listening and we hear what you're saying and um mission accepted or we've heard what you're saying and we're going to take it further it's a good sign that you're not just jay doing a mahala there is a presence there and it is showing itself to you that yeah we are here we're hearing what you're saying so that's a really good sign um, oh, okay. At least see you understand me. I'm happy you understand me. I love you too, Sister. 
Mm, let's see. Honestly, Coco, I don't think I dream. I, it really makes me worry. Then send me a message and we'll see what we can do because you should be dreaming. I mean, you shouldn't be dreaming every day, but you should be getting some kind of dream. So if you're not getting at all or you're not remembering totally, then it's something it's how do we fix that? So hey, um, I was home the past long weekend, and when I went to the ocean this time round, I felt dizzy and a bit out. I immediately got out. Could that be something? Um, so sometimes when you go to um, Air Manzini, including the ocean, um, with the intention for cleansing or meeting up with your ancestors, there's certain things that you need to do that whole week. Certain things you shouldn't be eating, um, you should be praying the whole week and all of that, that kind of thing. You sort of like, we as we are Zilela for that week so you can get into the water. So sometimes if you get into the water and you're not clean the way your ancestors will want you to be um then sometimes you'll start feeling like uh, you almost start feeling sick as in like get out of the water right now kind of thing so i think maybe you just went because you felt like going that day um for spiritual reasons but you weren't you hadn't been clean enough you hadn't been eating clean or whatever it is that time for you to get imagined to do spiritual stuff not to say that if you decide if you drive to Durban now and you go to the beach you're going to be feeling like that but i need to be going for leisure not for spiritual things so when you go imagine for anything spiritual that whole week you need to be preparing for it i think that's why you started feeling like that um go go every time i pray Oh, I see a candle um, flicking. I think okay, I think I answered it. I think maybe you typed it again. Thinking what I gave What is the gift between? <laughs> what is the difference? Yo, that's a whole another video on its own. But I will quickly sum it up for you. But it's a whole another video. Oh, it's a pleasure for me, Lam. Um, so somebody can have a gift and um, with so okay <clears throat> this is why I said it is a completely it's a different video but I'll do like a proper one explaining it guys. but somebody who has a gift is somebody for instance where you hear her no mama te wa bona, and she's not seeing people she's not praying for people she's not uh, she doesn't have a dumba and all of that, but she has the gift of seeing and the gift of feeling. So, for and dreaming sometimes, where she'll dream of something and she'll be like, you know what, I dreamed Goko Asisha. Um, she was sick. And then when you when she calls me, indeed, I'm sick. That is somebody who has a spiritual gift where they see things um, more than the average person would. When you have a calling, you already have a gift, I guess. But now you are being called to work with your gift. So, yes, um, I was dreaming of this. I was dreaming of so-and-so when I, when I had a gift or when I didn't, or when I wasn't, when I was aware or wasn't aware that I had a gift. I was dreaming of things and I was passing on messages and all of that. It's fine. But the minute you have a calling, you're being called Milo Twasa to go learn something and then use what you've learned to help people. Do you get what I'm saying? That's why there's people, some people have gifts, they can tell you that that's how you know and they don't work full time as Naga or Muruti or whatever it is. So I don't know if I've sort of put you at ease regarding that question. Please just respond and let me know if, if you understand. I don't want anybody living here confused more than anything. Um, I'll send you a WhatsApp message. Okay, that's fine. Please do send me a WhatsApp message. I'm still waiting for um, Lee to let me know if... 
I was able to break it down or did I just lose you along the way? Did I leave you more confused? Yes, guys, I haven't done a video in so long. I don't even know if I know how to save. So when I end this thing, I'm going to be super careful to make sure that I save the video. I was actually just thinking about it now. I think we'll take the last few questions and then we'll see. Um... What does it mean when you dream of kids? Lebo, as a dream interpretation, this is the 10th dream you've asked me. So it, it again depends on how you dream of the kids. Um, a lot of the time um, when you dream of kids, maybe if you know for a fact you're not pregnant or you're not trying to get pregnant or anything or there's no reason why you would be pregnant sometimes children would represent my dream for instance if a child comes up to you and gives you beads or i understand like maybe gives you blue and white beads then give a dream about so depending on how you saw the kids in the dream what they were doing how you felt around the kids or if they were kids, you felt like you've known forever. But when you look at the kids, you're like, I've never seen these kids in my life. Um, a lot of the time, it means, um, Hore, those are ancestors. I know, I dream a lot. I light a candle. That's good. That's good. I also um, think the magazine must also use a candle so that you choose it to to kickstart her, her dreams. But yeah, kids need that. So guys, if you dream of things like, um, I had a friend who dreamt of puppies, if you dream of sometimes kids, if you dream of celebrities, if you dream of, um, what else? So kids, puppies, celebrities, um, they inhabit police, body police officers, officers of the law, um, and soldiers, and obviously family members, that would be an obvious one, and um, laying hat. Yeah, I think those, and, and sometimes snakes, but it also depends on the color, so I don't want to confuse anybody and say snakes, and then you dream of a snake, Gandhi is a different color snake that means something else. So those ones that I mentioned besides the snake, a lot of the time they mean ancestors. So you need to just figure out what your ancestors were doing in the dream and in that form that they came in and what they were trying to um, explain to you. But write down your dreams, guys, because um, sometimes you wake up remembering the dream and then next time when you, when you see new, you see someone you can translate dreams, don't remember anymore but at least if you've written it down there it's like a puzzle they all come together and they they lead the way to some it's like a road map in fact um, they'll lead you to some way so write them down as much as you possibly can yeah i think yeah i think i think everybody's asked what they needed to ask and let's give it like a minute before I say bye. Can I say bye? No, I'm joking. I'm drinking Coke. 